To change the layout of a worksheet, you have tools like inserting and deleting columns and rows that are going to help, but sometimes you actually want to move data to a different location. And at other times, rather than retyping information, you might want to copy information from one location to another. Move and copy are similar in nature, and many times moving data or copying data is a multi-step process, but you can also use the mouse to an advantage here and actually drag data to different locations. So let's talk about different ways to move and copy information. Let's imagine that in this particular worksheet, you want to de-emphasize this information here. You do want to keep it on the screen, but rather than having it displayed close to the other data, you simply want to move it downward. Now, one way to move information is to use the two-step process known as cut and paste. This isn't necessarily the best way, but if you are trying to move data long distances, in other words, across thousands of rows or columns, maybe this is the best approach. So after clicking and dragging to select the data, then on the Home tab in the ribbon, if you want to move this, you can choose the scissors, meaning cut. Now, notice the prompt at the bottom of the screen. Select Destination and press Enter, or choose Paste. So either way, now maybe we want to put this down in row 21. We could click here and then choose Paste. We could have also pressed Enter. Now, there's nothing wrong with that technique, and particularly if you are moving data possibly even onto a different worksheet or to a distant location, that might be the best way to do this. I'm going to press Control Z to undo what I just did and show you another way to do this. Another way is strictly using keyboard shortcuts. And of all the keyboard shortcuts in Excel, I think two of the best known ones are likely to be, for many people, Control X for cut, Control C for copy, and then pasting, not so obvious at first, Control V. Why V? Well, it looks like insert, like an insert editing symbol. Let's highlight the data here. Control X to cut. Go to a different location right here. Control V to paste. So a lot of people are familiar with those keystroke shortcuts, and you might become quite proficient using those. Once again, I'll press Control Z to undo this action. Another way to move data, and I think often it's the best way, provided you don't have to move the data too far, is after selecting the data, simply point to one of the edges. It can be any of the four edges. As soon as you put the mouse pointer on the edge, you'll see a four-way arrow. Click and drag, downward, rightward, leftward, as needed. Put it anywhere you want. As soon as you get there, let go. If there are formulas within that list, those formulas get adjusted as well. So a simple drag allows us to move the data elsewhere. Now, there could be other situations where you're saying, I want to keep this data here, but I also want to make a copy of it. This is a projection of data, first half. Maybe you want to experiment with these numbers, but you don't want to upset what we already have here. You want to keep these here. How do we make a copy of the information? Well, here too, one of the standard techniques is using the ribbon, the copy button right below the scissors, copy, or control C you'll see is the shortcut. Copy the data. Maybe we're going to put this at the bottom to experiment with it right there. Notice the bottom of the screen, select destination and press enter or choose paste. Maybe we'll press enter this time. And there we see the data. One advantage to using control V is you can paste multiple times after copying only once. So if there are situations where you wanted to copy data to multiple places, you could copy the data and then go to one location and press control V, then another location and press control V to repeat the action in multiple locations. Now, there's a shortcut for copying data as well. Let me press Control Z again to undo this copy paste action. And this involves dragging data. So the data has been selected, but it involves using the Control key as well. So as we start to drag data, we don't have to hold down Control immediately, but as soon as we do, a tiny little plus accompanies that arrow. So we're holding down Control as we drag this data to a different location. And when you get to the destination location, be sure to let go of the mouse before the key. So we've copied the data here, and it still remains up above as well. So we can copy data, we can paste data. Now, I'm going to change my mind again and move this data back up close to the other data. So I'll simply drag it upward. It's a simple move. Drag it up to right there. Now, if you look at this data for a little bit, one thing might strike you as being a little bit off, and it is. Row four has sales, row five expenses, then profits. 
And down in row nine, we're calculating the sales change, the percent of sales change, but then it's profits and expenses, which seemingly is in the wrong order. The order here should mirror the order that we see up above. So certainly one method of adjusting this data is to insert a new row, move the data, get rid of the empty row, and so on. But it's real easy to simply move and insert the data. So in this example here, what we're about to do is to take this data and move it up and place it between the sales and profit percent changes. So we select the data, and as we're about to drag it, we'll be holding down the Shift key. And as we drag upward here, the indicator looks a little bit different. We drag it up here. The Shift key is still held down. We let go of the mouse first, and we've moved and inserted the data above. We could have done that for the entire row. It wasn't necessary, but it could have worked just as well that way. With different kinds of layouts, we might even want to consider moving columns. Maybe in this particular portion of the worksheet, which has this kind of data in it, and we've changed our mind about the layout. We want the department column to follow the employee name column. And so rather than inserting a new column to the left of column N, we'll simply click column O and then drag left edge or right edge with the shift key held down. The shift key is held down. I'm dragging leftward, let go of the mouse, and we simply change the location of those. You can do that with multiple columns. You can move and insert leftward or rightward. So there's no shortage of techniques here for changing worksheet layout based on moving data, copying data, or possibly moving and inserting data, either by cells, by columns, or by rows.